fine summer afternoon set the stage for the launching of the Coast to Canvas exhibition tour. The Dufferin County Museum, northwest of Toronto, Ontario, was the first venue to host this event featuring the original paintings of Corey Trepanier. After five weeks, the exhibition was to move on to Thunder Bay and then Sault Ste. Marie, sharing Corey's art, passion and adventure from an incredible part of the Canadian landscape. And thank you for attending this very special celebration. It's the museum's honour to host this important exhibition by one of our community's finest artists. Before I was introduced to Corey by Brenda Chabot and Jeff Chandler of the old downtown gallery in Orangeville, I remember looking at some of Corey's works and being really impressed by the skill and the quality of his work. I thought here was an artist that was either going places or more likely he had already arrived there. Corey is surrounded by a wonderful team of friends, family, clients, and supporters, and the captain of that team has to be Janet, his wife. I would like to personally thank Janet for all of her efforts in making tonight possible. And as you learn of the Trepanier's travels to Lake Superior and Georgian Bay, and when you take time to read some of the narratives beside the pieces, you realize that Corey and his family possess a great love and concern for the environment and the natural heritage of our province and country. I admire this, and it reminds me, and it should remind all of us, to do our part to preserve our natural environment for many reasons, not the least of which is so that we always have something for Corey Trepanier to paint. <laughs> Thanks for choosing the Dufferin County Museum as the home stop on the Coast to Canvas tour. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Trepanier. I'd first of all like to thank everyone who's taken the time to come out uh, to share, in, I guess, my, my own labor of love. Um, Daryl has very clearly indicated how it's much more than the work of just one person, though. And uh, I do want to thank all those who are involved in Creating this collection of paintings took Corey over two and a half years. The inspiration and beginnings of these canvases came from four seasonal excursions, each almost a month in length, that the artist and his family undertook to Lake Superior and Georgian Bay, exploring the region known as the Great Lakes Heritage Coast. Alongside each painting exhibited was a story that the artist wrote to share insights into the creative process. To further a desire to share this land with others, the Trepaniers also incorporated a documentary that they produced from their travels through the region. This combination of art, film, music and words allowed the public to experience a part of our wilderness in a unique and meaningful way. Thunder Bay's Fort William is entrenched in Canadian history. It is a recreation of an important fur trading post. As Fort William was also involved in the designation process of the Great Lakes Heritage Coast, they were eager to host the exhibition and share this landscape with their visitors, many who had traveled in from outside the country. Being the largest tourist attraction in Northern Ontario, this venue allowed many people to experience the coast through Corey's creations. The fort later estimated that over 20,000 people attended the exhibit during its five-week stay. In Sault Ste. Marie, many of the visitors seem particularly moved by these works. The city's location as the midpoint between Lake Superior and Georgian Bay meant that many were familiar with the subjects portrayed in the collection. Locals spoke of Corey's paintings as evocative reminders of places which they had visited. Many beamed with pride seeing their proverbial backyard brought to life in these canvases. 
For others, this exhibition highlighted the importance of this vanishing wilderness and the need to preserve it. Strong response to Corey's creations found some people even moved to tears. That others could be so affected by his work in this way was humbling and rewarding for Corey. As September neared its end, so did the tour. After being on display for three and a half months in locations thousands of kilometers apart, the art was carefully taken down and returned to the walls of the collectors who had graciously loaned the paintings to the Coast to Canvas exhibition tour. Mm -hmm.